Here's today's In Touch Reflection on In All Things Love. This month's reflection is based on verses 9 through 13 of Romans chapter 12. Love must be free of hypocrisy. Detest what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor, not lagging behind in diligence. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, practicing hospitality. Relationships are among God's greatest blessings in life. He made us to need and flourish with one another, and the people He surrounds us with are meant to walk alongside us in both good times and bad, as we see in Romans 12, verse 15. But these bonds don't magically happen. They're built over time. For that to happen, we must clearly articulate our needs and also willingly listen to the desires of those we care about. In the twelfth chapter of Mark's Gospel, Jesus says we're to love others as we love ourselves, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have the same wants and needs that we do. For instance, perhaps you feel cherished when someone gives you a thoughtful gift, but if someone important to you finds gift-giving difficult and avoids it, you might feel unappreciated. Or perhaps a friend feels most loved through deep conversation. If that's not in your wheelhouse, some work will be required. It may not be easy, but doing the work to love well always leads to blessing. Think about it. List some things that make you feel loved and valued. In what ways do your relationships with friends and family members add to the sense that you're appreciated? If you feel underappreciated, ask yourself whether you've clearly articulated your needs in a spirit of humility and love. 